Lakes Take is brought to you by Arrowwood Lodge at Brainerd Lakes. Hey, this is your Lakes Take with your take around the lakes. My name is Elliot, and this is the soon-to-be new mayor of Detroit Lakes, Zeke. Last month, a mountain lion was struck and killed by a car near Nimrod in Wadena County, which uh, brings a new town song to the area. Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that cat. Minnesota State Parks saw fewer visitors this past year as uh, state permits were purchased less, though they did end up making more money because of the raise in price for the permit. Uh, why they raised the price apparently was to build the wall. You know, we said Mexico was going to build it, but what he meant was state parks. McKinley Nutrition in Detroit Lakes is holding their first ever New Year New You Weight Loss Challenge. Elliot and I are both taking part in it, so in four weeks, you'll be able to tell who's actually been doing it and who's been having Casey's Pizza for breakfast every single morning. A $1 million lottery ticket sold in Crookston, Minnesota at the Super Pump, which just as a side note, that was my nickname in high school. I'm kidding, I wasn't cool enough to even get a nickname. Mana Food Co-op in Detroit Lakes is offering a new meal kit featuring food from local farmers. It's called Local Eats. It ranges between $20 and $30 a pack. Uh, feeds four to six people or uh, one Charlie Newland. Well, New Year means new national and state laws taking place, including Minnesota, where several new laws came into effect, including uh, hospitals now having to post their prices, which means nobody's going to be buying anything anymore unless it's a life or death. Oh, sh**. Now that Christmas season is over, it welcomes in a new season, ice house break-ins. A lot of fish houses being reported broken into over the weekend, uh, including Elliot's, in which he had uh, his $2 fishing lures and his $5 of Coors Light stolen. Fire's been a bit of a problem around the middle of winter here in the Lakes area. Three businesses have been affected by the blaze. We didn't start the fire, but we're trying to fight it. You know, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, that's, I think it's Billy Joel. Yeah, that's what I said, man, the boss. The boss, Billy Joel. Special congratulations to Crystal. She's the winner of the Carvedens Christmas gift, which she was gifted $1,000 of new furniture from Carvedens in Purim. And also a special thank you to Carvedens for stepping up, because we almost had to use Charlie's Discount Furniture Corner Mart. The DNR actually had 22 permits that went out for uh, harvesting elk this year in Minnesota. Uh, awesome to see that elk could be showing up in a local supermarket near you. Me, personally, I'm still waiting on loon season. I wonder what loon would taste like. Maybe fried up with some bacon? Mm. Loon might be, might be pretty tasty. Time now to turn to sports and our sports anchor, Elliot. The Twins Caravan going to be making two stops in Fergus Falls. They won't be coming to Detroit Lakes because they don't love us anymore. A lot like you don't love the Vikings anymore, but if there's anything we can take away from this 2018 Vikings season, it's when fourth and long and the season's on the line. Check down to your third wide receiver who's three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Don't worry, buddy. There's always next year. Stop saying that. It's been 58 years. Yeah, but it's only been 20 since the 1998 NFC Championship. That's your Lakes Take with your Take Around the Lakes. Lakes Take is brought to you by Arrowwood Lodge at Brainerd Lakes.